Log of the Electra, Matt Mercury commanding. We have arrived at the colony planet Nectar 3. It is a beautiful and lush world. But its beauty is threatened by a terrible war between the western and eastern continents. A conflict that, if unresolved, will certainly see the more brutal and powerful east destroy their western adversaries. That was a moving speech, Captain Mercury, and I am sure many among the Western Alliance agree with the logic behind your support of peace. However... However, as I have told you, our adversaries in the East will not turn their ear to anything but complete, unconditional, brutal surrender. In the weeks since your arrival, I have dreamed of another surrender. Preeminence. Can you not speak my name? Serenia. Yellow alert. Western Port City in range. Targeting. Targeting. Fire! If I owed nothing to my people, if I were another woman, I would tell you to take me to the stars and I would leave this bitter world. Riemann and Serenia, the capital city, this is outrageous! I, I have never reached this far. Our defenses are not as powerful as the Eastern Alliance weapons. This alien's ship could wipe the Eastern Alliance out in one day. You speak of peace, Captain Mercury, but you are willing to do nothing to stop these mindless, brutal aggressors. I'm sorry, there must be a diplomatic solution. Every day, more and more of our beautiful planet, our cultural centers, our great achievements fall beneath the destruction of the East. And you expect us to talk. That is enough. Captain Mercury is not wrong to pursue peace. Is that all he pursues, preeminence? So, Professor Brainwave, have you done anything to resolve this planet's conflict? Ooh, Captain Mercury asked me to gather information about the Eastern Alliance's military capabilities and movements. Nothing more. It is clear they are more advanced and mean to crush the West. As the ship's doctor, I do not see how this is your concern. Just because I am a doctor does not stop me from being a scientist as well. Or a rationally thinking human being! Uh, what do you suggest? I suggest we get out of here. We should not be involved in this planet's war. In this instance, I do agree with you, Dr. Cypher. I fear Captain Mercury sees this tragedy unfolding and he is compelled to get involved against his better instincts. It's an Eastern Alliance ship. I didn't think they could travel into orbit. Their technology appears to have advanced to meet the need. Approaching spacecraft. This is Lieutenant Commander Jason Mason of the Starship Electra. Please state your intentions. Minor damage to bow plating. However, if they continue, significant damage is possible. Target that ship's weapons and fire. The ship had no shielding. It was built for the hurt. Well, we're in it now. Ooh, 
I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Porta bodies on fire at the Kip's Big Boy. I watch she monkeys sparkle in the dark near the Anheuser Gates. All these moments will be lost in time. If you don't like it, subscribe. Oh, and I'm watching this bird. Ah! Oh, ah! Do you see now the intentions of these aliens? They are clearly powerful, Commander. But our conflict with the Western Alliance is to defend our frontiers. This has become a bloody war of extinction. The Western Alliance lies. They profess to seek peace and freedom, all while aligning themselves with the off-worlders. Once we rule the world, then we can defend it. We can defend our kind from these aliens. The West cannot be trusted. Yes, Commander. Remind our troops that this temporary pain is necessary to save our culture. Do this in the name of victory. As you say, Commander, so it shall be. I find myself embroiled in a war on an alien planet, a beautiful world. It is a political battle and a battle of the heart. The Electro reports firing coming from the planet's surface. They are currently out of range. The Eastern Alliance has declared war on us as well, it would seem. If the Elector is forced to target the surface cannon installations, the Eastern Alliance will have every right to consider us an enemy. Thank you, B6. Tell the ship we'll be returning soon. Did I hear that correctly? Are you leaving us? I can't stay, Serenia. We both know that. I've already done too much. Our presence here has made things worse, not better. Preeminence, the Eastern forces are overwhelming our capital defenses. They will be here within the hour. The Eastern monsters are surrounding our beautiful capital city. They are killing civilians, women, children. How can you allow this, Matt? My feelings for you have blinded me, Serenia. I have to go. Then go. Preeminence, the time has come. We cannot wait any longer. Our people deserve to be defended. Yes, for our people. Ready the nuclears. Captain, the Eastern Alliance is closing on the Western Capital. They won't last very long now. I should never have gotten involved. You should have never gotten involved with her. Your feelings for the preeminent Serenia introduces an existential fear in the minds of the Eastern Alliance. Fear? Yes, fear, Captain. Our efforts here have driven the East to escalate their war. This ancient colony world was content to remain planet-bound. However, they consider us an alien influence and a dangerous one. They are quickly developing orbital warfare. Professor, the East is warlike and brutal. 
The West? Cultivated, beautiful, and free. How could I be neutral? targeted, low-yield, strategic weaponry. Civilian casualties might be at a minimum. However, the damage to the biosphere will be significant. It will take decades to remediate. Choosing sides may result in burning this beautiful world to cinders. What have I done, Professor? The question is, what will you do now? Strategic field headquarters has been destroyed. The Western jobs have used nuclears. What are your orders? Serenia, what have you done? is now on OSI 74. Targeting. Targeting. You aren't seriously going to fire on the planet, are you, Captain? I have no other option. The East has activated its nuclear codes. Captain, anything we do now could be considered an intergalactic war crime. Matt, do you fully understand what's at stake? I do, Professor. Destroy the targets, Mr. Nemo. Serenia. Commander Jolax is on the line. Put him on the screen. Preeminent Serena, men and women of the Western Council, I greet you, not as a conqueror, but as one of your own kind, a fellow countryman. It has become clear that we, a people of one nature, are not the true threat to our beautiful world. I propose we join forces and begin construction of a space fleet with the purposes of destroying the intruders from the stars. We will live here in peace and defend our way from anyone who dare attack from above the clouds. We greet you as friend, Commander Jolax, and join you in our shared defense. Serenia, the alien ship remains. Soon we will meet them in the stars and show our united cause. Yes, Jolax. Our people have joined in this cause. We are the same blood. We should never shed blood again.
Professor Brainwave, you've checked these same instruments every day for three months now. We're in a standard orbit running standard systems. What do you expect to change? It is part of my duties to run waveform diagnostics. The captain has not yet relieved me of those duties. Speaking of the captain, where is he exactly? He is waiting, exactly. Waiting? For what? Haven't we done enough damage to this planet? Engineer Volcro, I suggest you attend to your duties. I will do the same, and I am sure Captain Mercury is attending to his. Yes, this officer. I will do that. Hey Brainwave, what are you doing? Are you busy? Apparently, I am the only one who is busy. Good. I've got a question. Why are we just hanging around? I do not know, Lieutenant Sparks, but if it will make you feel better, I will find out. That would make me feel better. Well, apparently, tending to the crew's feelings is one of my broad spectrum of duties. Go away. And you come in anyway. You always tell me to go away. That leaves it up to my better judgment to enter or not. What's on your mind? The crew is restless. They have no mission. Their mission is to wait. May I ask for what? Captain, long range sensors are picking up multiple launches. I've been waiting for this. The Nectarian fleet is apparently complete and heading to meet us in orbit. Take us out of orbit. What's that? I know this is painful, Matt. That's Valerian Ale. That's illegal, Professor. They've never been one for rules. You know that, Matt. Valerian Ale wipes out short-term memory. You became her enemy to save her world. Isn't that something worth forgetting? Oh, and one more thing. The Control Council has relieved you of any responsibility in this instance. I even got the impression those paper-pushing bastards were a little disappointed that you didn't drag Earth into this conflict. War is good business, and the Controllers always have their eye out for good business. Nothing good about war, Professor. I'm not sure I ever want to forget that. The choice is yours. May I help you, Lieutenant Spots? I don't know. I feel sore and nervous. I can't sleep. Do you have a pill or something for that? It's anxiety. And it's perfectly natural when dealing with the horrors of war. No pill will fix that. Spots. Why do people go to war, Doctor? It's fear, Lieutenant. Fear drives people to fight for control over one another. It's an evil as old as humanity. Well, I hate it. Yeah, you would not be wrong. Matt Mercury, Matt Mercury, whose life belongs to those in need. So if you just believe and say the name, Matt.